Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Well, it's not really a video, it's a podcast, but anyway, I'm Kettle 5 and on today's podcast, we're here with Liam. Say hello. Hello. And basically, it's going to be a quick podcast because we have to get, I have to go in a couple of minutes, in a bit, but basically, we're going to talk today about the BPL games from yesterday, today, looking back as well at the weekend football and talking about transfers. So to start with, we're going to talk about today and yesterday's video not video uh, mat, football matches uh, work from yesterday's to today because yesterday is what we're going to say is yesterday's are better because there's are to the games that we're going to talk about the first game we're going to talk no, about today was better because West Ham played oh okay okay no, no, no I'm joking no, <laughs> I'm joking no yesterday's better yesterday was better in my opinion because there's more games One. wait how many played today actually one two three Four, four play today, and yesterday we had five. So technically, yeah. Anyway, anyway, forget about that. So the first game we're going to talk about, uh, which wasn't the best of games, but was Stoke Newcastle. Um, there's nothing really much to talk about. All, uh, all I can say is all I've seen is the Perez goal, and it's a mistake from it's definitely a mistake from Stoke's point of view. And if Liam can elaborate with this with us, but what do you think the state of Stoke is, Liam? Do you think they need to get transfers or state state of Stoke? I think I think Stoke's got a good team. I just think that they need more depth. So <coughs> if I was Stoke, I'd be bringing in sorry, I'd definitely bring in, be bringing in a new striker, maybe like a someone like. Dominic Solanke at Liverpool, so quite quick, can hold the ball up, good with his feet, feet not afraid, someone like that. So maybe even like, I don't know, Defoe has been everywhere, but I think Defoe might be quite good for them. I yeah, mean, he's not quick, but yeah. When you think about it, when you look at the manager as well, like uh, Hughes, Mark Hughes is he, he is. Compla- he gets complaints from the fans because of what's happening, right? Yeah. But it's all because of uh, he has the de- the squad is probably like seventeen of them, and he only has yeah, and they and there's about and at the moment there's about five or six injuries which are consistent injuries which the players are getting injured in there and even in the Chelsea game when you look at the weekend they couldn't continually win that because they only had about four players. That won the bench, and they had the best yeah. players on the bench because of they wanted to win the easier game, which was Newcastle, but they didn't. So it blows it away. Indeed, really, to what the potential is. Uh, a question to uh, everyone here who is watching. Um, we're going to look at this here. Do you? There could there. Are, they're around you, this team, are Liam. They're the same points as you. You have minus 15 goals. They have minus uh, 19. Uh, sorry, minus 12, sorry. Right? Right. How do you think, and, and your opinions, on the Bournemouth versus Brighton game? Bournemouth-Brighton. The 2-2 game, which I didn't think was 2-2, but yeah, shouldn't have been 2-2, but we can argue all you want. I haven't. Completely honest, I haven't seen I haven't seen anything from that game. I know it was two two. I know there was a good goal scored. I know there was a mistake from the Brighton goalkeeper that allowed oh, I can't remember who it was just to tap the ball in. But yeah, I don't Bournemouth had most of the possession. Bournemouth had twenty five twenty six shots, Brighton had fifteen. Eight on target to Bournemouth, six to Brighton. Uh, corner twelve to Bournemouth, five to Brighton. Fouls. Brighton had more fouls. Uh, I I generally that I didn't really see the game, so can't say much more. But the but the general. <laughs> we just talk about our respective teams. But the, but but the, before we do, the general gist would like. Do, do before we do go into our. So, Suggestive teams. Do you think Bournemouth? Perspective. Perspective teams, sorry, and our teams that we support. 
Do you think yes. Bournemouth need to strengthen to get better? Mm, I think all teams need to strengthen to get better. I think they've got a good base. I think they're doing really well. But I don't know. I think most people didn't really... When they came up from the Championship, most people think they would, thought they were going to go straight back down, me being one of them. They proved us wrong. They stayed up. I think they've done really well. Yeah, like Actually, Brighton. A few seasons they've been in the plan. Yeah, like Brighton. They have not bought many players. They probably only bought that what that, that, that left wing. They probably bought about two or three players. And that's it. What, Escoedo? Escoedo, that's it. They've only bought Escoedo and about three or four other players. But because they think their team from the Championship can be well in the Premier League, which... It's not the case. No, Brighton have... Yeah, that's what I mean. They bought a few oh, players. But, 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 but to be honest, they they still have not caught. They have a good team. Like Tim Krull and Mason Ryan as goalkeepers. But Isquero. Got Grob. Grob? Gross? I can't really yeah. say his name. It's like that. It's got good... They, they do have a good team. The other games quickly, just to whittle through them, guys, for you before we do finish the other teams. Uh, Liverpool 2 1 win at, Bur- at Burnley, which was amazing because of the Clavan last minute dip goal, which was really good. Oh my god, Clavan. You think about it, really. Burnley deserved the point, and then out of nowhere. Wilson, Bulls- that was who tapped it in. Just who? came to my head, sorry. Wilson. Uh, yeah, it was. And, but yeah, it came into the box and Clavin scored. Uh, match of the day is tonight. It's on right now, by the way, people. But uh, yeah, I think Liverpool deserved the win. They looked better in that game. And that Leicester won 3 0. Very decent performance on Leicester, I've got to say, for that. Huddersfield were outplayed. Had a few shots, but I think we're going to go down. Yeah, Huddersfield are going to go down. Yeah, because they're, they're not the best, though. I know they bought a few players, but Tommins, sorry, he's a championship player, not a Premier League player at the end of the day. A few players like that. They have Moy, though. Moy's, Moy, great Moy's good. Moy's good, though. He's the only good, he's a good player they've got. Uh, the respective players like that. Another Bet team. Jorgensen as well at centre back. Uh, the team that's closest to us in the top two uh, leagues is Hull City. They lost to B- Bolton 1 0. Uh, and uh, Nottingham Forest as well are the other close team to us. As well, so they're the Lincoln two teams. lost four two. They're the teams as well, and Lincoln as well lost four two. So yeah, we don't forget about them. But we're going to now Can't talk. Lost as well. I mean... We're going. We're going. We're going to talk about today's games now quickly. Uh, Crystal Palace two, Southampton one, which I thought Crystal Palace deserved to win because they tried and they pushed to get the winner. That was just domination from Tottenham. They won two nil. Man City three one. I don't think anyone can stop them. No, I think. I generally think they are they're going to win the league it just depends how, by how much because yeah, but you look at the 100 point mark questions like that then need to be answered but Crystal Palace can get a draw with them though what? but Crystal Palace can draw with them did they draw? yeah which is unbelievable at the weekend it was Crystal Palace 1 uh, Man City 1 oh yeah Love it. It but anyway Let's forget about the other teams. They're the games I told you about. It's now going to be up to me and Liam now. I I, I, I didn't believe this. Uh, Crystal Palace, I thought, were going to easily lose, which they won. Same for West Ham. They beat 2-1. And if you look at the weekend's matches as well, uh, if you look at the weekend's matches, it was a 2-2. It was a... Wait, where are we? Oh, I can't find it. Oh, no, West Ham didn't play the weekend, did they? Yeah. Who'd you play? Oh, no. The last time you played was Christmas Eve. Drew 3 all with... Um, Newcastle. No, Newcastle won 3-2. For, for did they win? Yeah. I thought so. it was 3-0. But... Back oh, to no, di- no, 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 yeah, it was 3-2. But back to today, we're going to talk... 
Back to today, West Ham won. Uh, I'm going to ask a couple of questions, Liam, because you can ask questions about Manu to me. But uh, I personally think West Ham are good. Do you think uh, David Moyes can get you into the top half of the table and get you up to where you want to be? I think we'll finish 12th. I don't think he'll get us top half. I think he's the right man for the job, though. I generally... I don't know. I like him. I like what he did at Everton. I didn't like what he did at United, but he wasn't given enough time. Um, he was given about... I think he was given about, like, six matches at Man U. Literally, he was given about half season, that was it. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, there was a full season, wasn't it? And then Van, Ga- Van Gaal came in, which was terrible. <laughs> then... Um... Yeah, we all love, love a bit of Louis, but Moisey, I think, I think he'll, I think he'll make us safe. I think maybe, maybe middle, mid table, not top half. Though. All right, another quite que- well. All right, another question to ask you: If you had, uh, like personally, because I think you've got a good team, the only problem is the midfield. Any transfers you think that West Ham are going to do? Oh, I totally disagree with you there. No, the there's a problem. Is I've Defence. <laughs> no, the defence is right. The, no, the, mid, the midfield's good, but a few tweaks may be there and a few in defence will be good. If you look at our midfielders, they've been our best players this season. OK, I think we need a new centre-back. I think Zaba needs to go. I think we need to get a new right-back in. I think we'll want someone like Subotic, maybe. Subotic would be great for us. Kostic. A, a whittle um, food, sorry. Asia, someone like that. Someone tall, strong, physical, can good in the air, but also good with their feet. Right back. I think he's put Sam Byron back in, so give Byron another chance. I think he'd be more solid then. So the last, so the West Ham team, it, I don't know if you've known this, Liam, but it was Adrian, Reed, Ogbonna, Cresswell, Zab, Zabaleta, uh, Kiate, yeah. Ogbonna, Muz. Musmuaku, Anatovic, uh, Carroll, and Lanzini on the pitch. Uh, yep. The subs were Declan Rice, Noble, and Hernandez. Do you think that Ayu Mas Mac Makabanovic? Oh, yeah, yeah. Kuani and Hart should have they played instead? Do you think Ayu should have come on? Ayu, maybe. Hart, no. Adrian's better. Proved it this season. Hart's been a flop it up for us. Did well in the Serie A, but not I don't... for us. Do, do you think um, Declan Rice is good? I think Rice is good, at, but I think he needs more experience. A bit young, isn't he? 18 years old. Yeah, and um, I think, personally, he needs just that... Good I mean... player, though. That season, he just needs that season, if you know what I mean. I think he needs to be in and out of the team, like like he has been doing. I don't think he should have played today. West Brom have Rondon, tall, strong. To be fair, I think Colin should have played, just to counter Rondon. No, Colin wasn't on the bench. Yeah, I know Collins wasn't in the squad, but I think he should have played. He scored a goal last week. So, I don't know why we didn't give him the game. Yeah, and the pers- personal thing that I don't get about West Ham is that they 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 just mess their team around too much. It's like... No, not really. It's like... No, but um, it's like one week you have Collins and a really good team, right? Next week you have a really weaker team for a, week, for a team who, I think personally... A little bit, a little bit of a physical team, a better team, but they just don't. It's kind of. A... Yeah, I think we have good rotation players. I think, but I don't know. But yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. We're gonna look at some other other things in a minute. But Man United won. They went two one at the yesterday. So good old United winning two one. Okay, my question for you about United is. So you've got a steady manager, Jose Mourinho. But what do you think about his comments saying that Paul Pogba is better than than the other Paul, Paul Scholes? Um, he is. Uh, the problem with that is 
he. I, I, he I is. Want, you think he's better than Scalzi? I watched the press conference, right? And Jose Mourinho, what he said was, I think Paul Pogba's better than Paul Scholes. Uh, if you give Paul Pogba, Paul Scholes twenty five percent more, then he will be a good manager. It's not going to cut that. To be to be honest with you, like what, like West Ham, for example, we're going to go for that. Have the manager which flopped. David Moyes at Man United was rubbish. Uh, the whatever that uh, United. Uh, the United, United Fan TV, uh, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, the man on that goes uh, to your full a wasted time like that and tries to kick him out uh, and gets a bit lippy, saying Moise for Lene and all that kind of stuff and doesn't like Moise. And then we bring in another manager, which I thought was a good manager because he was really good with Holland. The first three games, we're yeah. like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, he's winning us a few games. Yes, we can do well. And then we flop back down the table, and then Jose Mourinho comes in. We buy Pogba. Everyone thinks, oh, Pogba's so good. Really bad. I don't for, think he is. Really bad for the first season. Second season, last season, he was amazing. Was it, was it last season, the first season? Anyway. Yeah. I think last season, maybe, maybe second season, but he was good. Better, better progressing up the pitch, better. And then this season, him and uh, what do you call it, Lukaku have just been good. The problem is with Lukaku is he's not the striker who wins you games. That's the one thing I've got to no. say. He's a striker. Me and my who, friend was talking about this. He's a striker who can he's, get. He's, he's like a, he's like a cam. He's a cam. Personally, he's a cam. He gets you the result he doesn't get you the win he gets you the passes into the box to to Mkhitaryan or to the Pogba but he doesn't get you the wins and that's what I'm annoyed about sorry Liam keep talking I, I was about to say um, he's kind of there and he gets goals but you don't notice him like you never come off the you never like stop watching the game and be like oh yeah Lukaku was great he was just there and you didn't realise he bagged a couple of goals because he doesn't do anything else. Like in the like in the first like six game season, he scored every game, and everyone's was like, oh, he's going to break the Man United record, he's going to break the Premier League record for the most goal for the most game to score a goal like every like the amount I think it was like to score in every game. If he scored in the next game, he would have got the record. Didn't score. Next game, would have got the record. Didn't score. But yeah, and then you look at it as well when you think about it. His boot, the manager was like. In the press conference, going, why do you think Jose Mourinho? Why do you think uh, Lukaku's not playing the best he can be? Oh, uh, his boots aren't doing really good. <sighs> he blames his boots. It's like only a pair of football boots in there. It's not like he's gonna actually do anything like that. <sighs> but anyway, and then, did, have you heard about? Have you, did you hear about uh, what do you call it, Lou? Fellaini, Liam. Did you hear about Fellaini? Nope. He, he, do you know his uh, surf, uh, like sh- uh, football boot sponsor? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know the studs on the bottom of your boot? One of his studs came off, so he uh, sued his football uh, sponsor, his football boot sponsor, for suing, for buying, for giving him the wrong boots. It Did he like, win? He was like, no, uh, he's like, oh, I'm suing my sponsors for giving me the shitty, for giving me a boot that's broken. <sighs> But anyway, he doesn't matter about that enough to say about that. Uh, oh, talking about sponsors, right? I've got a new topic. Well, what do you think of the whole Coutinho scandal? And about what? Didn't you hear? No. Nike, because Nike sponsor Coutinho and sponsor Barcelona. So in on their website they put. Can't can anyone wait to get their Barcelona shirts with hashtag Cusini on the back? Do and they like know, a massive scandal. So they know and apparently gonna... apparently the move wasn't finalised. Ooh, that's a bit annoying. You know that's that's yeah. annoying. Like, like it was a, it was pretty much the same with Pogba though. It was pretty much the same with Pogba. Like Pogba tweeted saying can't wait to come to United, right? Right. Yeah. 
Man United tweeted saying, nearly doing the deal with Pogba. And loads of people, by the time Pogba said, can't wait to come to United, bought a few shirts of Pogba. Didn't think he was coming to United at that point. And then he was like, and then then on the news the next day, you're like, uh, but, uh, you're like, Juventus reject a £75 million deal for Pogba. They want €100 million. Euros. So we gave them €100 million. Euros. And apparently, Jose Mourinho now wants to buy Griezmann. <laughs> but but personally, Liam, yeah. do you think that West Ham will get the out the, the out and out defender that that they cry for they cry for no and the reason for this is so, there's just no what the reason is because I think personally you need a better defender or a left back or right back now Zabaleta's yeah, good Zabaleta's brilliant for you I wouldn't mind Zabaleta playing centre back who would you put Sam, Sam Byron in pre-season he was great yeah, exactly. Put him back in the team. Just, just put him back. Or get another right back. Get Jenkinson back. Actually, no, don't get Jenkinson back. From but the Palace. Get someone like. That. I personally think I like. To personally think when you look at West Ham, you look you look at Carlos Tevez, and you think about the season Carlos Tevez and uh, Mascherano had with them, and you think that's the best season they had. No, it wasn't. 60, 1980 was the best season. And had. you think about that, that's the best season they had in the 2000s. And you're thinking, well, it's not really because who. I'm going to ask the question here now. You can ask me a, a question as well. We're going to ask each other two questions and then we're going to end this podcast, people. But, Liam, who, when do you think was the best season in the 2000s for Everton? <coughs> Everton? Sorry, for. Yeah. Go for Everton first, then go for West Ham. 2011, because they came sixth. I don't know. Oh, right, in a minute. Yeah. No. And West Ham, sorry. Uh, 2012, when we won the playoff final. What, to come back to Premier League? Yeah. We, we win. That was our best team. Ricardo Vazte, 86th minute. <laughs> Screamer into that corner. Cool. Now, any questions, Liam? Um, yeah. I know a lot of people think Man United fans are glory supporters. So, why do you support Man United? Is it for that reason? The the reason I support Man United was I liked. Well, watched football on TV for when you know when you're little, you watch football and you don't really take any notice of it. Yeah. Like when I'm like six years old, you don't take notice of who the player is, who the football is. All I took notice was I just pointed at the screen. I was like, "Look, there is a football team." And one was like, "Yeah, that's Man United." And I was like, "Oh, I like that club." Not because one, I didn't know we won so many trophies. Two, I didn't know we did this, that, and the other. All I knew is that they were a good team. They were a team I thought could do well in the league, and then I realised I'm just supporting a team now which has won, say, seven games in a row. I've won, I'm, pick, I'm picking a club now which is a million, which has won so many titles, and everyone calls you a glory supporter in that. And I'm like, well, I'm not. That's why I support them. But at the same time, the first ever club I watched was Middlesbrough, right? And. Oh yeah, I've heard the Ev- story. Everyone was like, well, I'll tell you this now, everyone, if you haven't heard it. Everyone was like, oh, James, you support Middlesbrough then. You watch Middlesbrough, you talk about Middlesbrough, you support them, right? I was like, no, I don't support Middlesbrough. I just watched them play football in the Premier League, thought they were okay in the Premier League. That's the end of that. Didn't think they were going to win the Premier League. Didn't really know much about the Premier League at that time. All I thought was, oh, they're okay club. They're not a bad club in the Premier League. I actually like Man United more, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, when uh, the manager of England now, Gareth Southgate, was the manager for them, I thought, oh, they're actually good. He's, they've got a good manager. They're up in the t- near the top near the league. They're about fourth or fifth. They're not a bad team. I will watch them play football. I won't support them. I'll just see how good they are. And then Man United, mm-hmm. I was like, 
not a, not a glory supporter going going oh i'm going to support man united because they've won so many trophies and so this that and the other i watch man united because of, they just like catch my eye with the football yeah and like fair enough i bet i bet for you forever to, for liverpool for you for what for, for my dad watching liverpool he just liked the style of play for liverpool and that's how like my dad and dad got into liverpool and I bet for you, for Everton, it, for Everton fans, it's the same. For West Ham fans, it's the same. Just no, I was, I was born, I was raised in East London, wasn't I? So I didn't really have a choice. Yeah, my, grand, my grandfather was a West Ham fan. East London, you can have clubs. You can have two clubs. It's I think it's is it West Ham and Tottenham. No. It's West Ham, Leighton Orient, or Millwall. There you go, Millwall. I'm not supporting Millwall. Wait, let's have a look, actually. I'm, I'll, I'll just quickly check this people for you, quickly. So, East London football teams, right? You can have yeah. You can have Arsenal, Tottenham, West Ham, or Chelsea. Apparently, no. That's for that's for yeah, London. Sorry, that's, that's for Lo- North London. That's London. Yeah, that's, that's London. Uh, East East London football clubs. Here we go. You can have. Uh, AFC Croydon. Oh yeah. We want to support AFC Croydon, don't we? Uh, you can have uh, a Stratford. Yeah, we do have Stratford, West Ham. AFC Stratford, you can have Leighton Orient, mm-hmm. uh, Hackney, uh, and that's it really. Yep. Cheltenham. Oh yeah, Cheltenham Town. And Tottenham is the only other Premier League club in there. Well, not anymore really, people. Tottenham's North London. Well, yeah, but anyway. Tottenham's Wembley, isn't it? And, by the way, people, just quickly address this. Uh, I know YouTube is going downhill now. It's going to go downhill for the next couple of weeks, right? We're going to address this anyway. It, it, a thing that somebody talks about in a comment I had in the stream and it's about L- Logan Paul we'll I know it's a football vlog but, uh, podcast but we'll address this quickly what he did was he went into the uh, Suicide Forest in Japan talked about uh, suicide at the start of the video said uh, suicide is uh, not a laughing matter it's not a thing like that he did the vlog in there uh, there was a dead body up on the thing hanging there don't know if it was real, don't know if he dummied a person there, then put his camera on and recorded. Don't know if somebody just went there and faked it and didn't speak. Or don't know if it was real, legit, we don't know. Everyone said it's fake, but we don't know. Then he laughed at suicide. And then he laughed, like, again after that. Then he went away and literally like shouted a couple of words which he shouldn't have shouted Liam can talk about this in a minute we can and then I have no idea uh, well I've seen the video twice now and and seen somebody react to it but basically and then they went out the forest he then laughed again and was trying to make it a fun kind of vlog if you know what I mean kind of make it a bit fun to say ah suicide's not a bad thing but ha 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 laugh 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 like that then the cameraman said this is how logan paul finds f- sad things if you know what i mean and then logan paul says yeah I, I laugh at sad things i'm sorry people but that's how i find sad things for me so, so he then apologized and then went to this little kid and this mum i don't know if he said to them just please say yes you know my logo but he went up to them and he made like some symbol to them to be funny and then said do you know the Logan Paul and Logan and she said yes I do she was very happy with that and then told the policeman 
and told the fireman that there was a dead body in the forest and that and he told and the fireman or policeman said oh he shouldn't have gone in there in the first place didn't even arrest him didn't even do anything and then he got so much hate for it that he deleted the video but basically he got hate because he laughed and was mean and didn't wasn't nice about suicide which people complained about which i think is a bit harsh as well at the time but that's pretty much my side of the story of how he did that it's a it's kind of going to address that in this as well i was going to do a video on that myself i will do that tomorrow but yeah hopefully you enjoy the podcast people please like this video and subscribe to me and to Liam if you are new to us here and click the bell and get notified if you need any cheap and liable FIFA coins because it says FIFA 18 on the screen right now go to the FIFA UT store and use CAD5 for 10% off your orders uh, CAD all in capitals and then no space in a 5 and you'll get a discount people uh, from me to CAD5 and from Liam it's goodbye peace Good- goodbye goodbye oh, yeah, people goodbye from me and goodbye for me people so yeah next podcast will come out not next week but the week after so yeah hopefully you did enjoy this one if you did smash the like if we get four likes i'll do another one so yeah goodbye